Taylor Swift watches Chiefs narrowly escape win Jets, Travis Kelsey led the team in receiving but didn't find the end zone, there was a big difference in the Kansas City Chiefs games from last week against the Chicago Bears to Sunday night against the New York Jets. Taylor Swift wasn't doing as much celebrating as she was doing and instead was picking her nails and appeared to be nervous as the game was tied in the third quarter. Zach Wilson fired a pass to Alan Lazard and then ran the ball in for the two-point conversion to tie the game. Jets fans were jubilant as the NFL world was stunned watching the third-year quarterback cook after weeks and weeks of complete disappointment. Kansas City did get the edge back with a Harrison Butker field goal with 10.51 left in the game. Then, Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs were on the favoring end of some penalty calls against the Jets on their final series. Mahomes iced the game with another run on third down and the game was over. The Chiefs escaped MetLife Stadium with a 23-20 victory to move to 3-1 on the season. Travis Kelsey had a quiet six catches for 60 yards. Noah Gray had one catch, a touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco had 20 carries for 115 yards and scored a touchdown as he played in front of his home state. Wilson was the story of the game. He showed grit and resilience and scared the pants off every single Chiefs fan who came to see the defending Super Bowl champions play. He was 28 of 39 with 245 yards and two touchdown passes. The other went to C.J. Uzoma. But a fumble in the fourth quarter ultimately put the nail in the coffin for the team. Mahomes and the Chiefs killed the rest of the clock and the Jets never got the ball back. Zach played his uh, off, Mahomes said after the game. Next, Kansas City hits the road to play the Minnesota Vikings. The Jets will also be on the road as well. They will be playing the Denver Broncos.